Hi, I'm Talorx, and I grew up in a cult. <laughs> the fuck is a cult? What are you, what am, what am I even talking about? What are you talking about? When you say cult, what are you saying? What are we saying right now? The term cult is generally used as a fill-in word for you're a stupid fuck. It's one of those things that is essentially saying, I'm right, you're wrong. My beliefs, good, yours, there's fucking stupid, dude. Grow up. I big brain, you small brain. In the words of somebody who actually has a big brain, Rebecca Moore, we only describe people we disapprove of as in a cult. We set the stage for how we will think about them and treat them. And that's a big brain way of saying, throw them in the fuck it bucket and write them off immediately. If you just go on Google, you'll see some definition like a system of religious veneration and devotion directed towards a particular figure or object. A relatively small group of people having religious beliefs or practices regarded by others as strange or sinister. <laughs> Cult originally comes from the Latin term clitoris, meaning- What do you mean? It's in my notes, dude. I even took notes for this one. What are you- Cult originally comes from the Latin cultus, root word of such as cultivation and culture. In ancient Rome, they used the term cultus to refer to a group showing intense admiration or devotion to a person, place, idea, thing. It wasn't negative. It wasn't positive. It just was. Under this broad definition, a cult could literally fucking be anything. Could be a political ideology. It could be a fucking music group, a celebrity, an online figure. So besides just acting as a weapon to immediately demean and write somebody off, what use does the term cult even have? If it is so vague and often used solely to be derogatory, how do we separate the harmful from the helpful? There's gotta be a better way. Welcome to the first ever episode of public access information television. Because there are many groups that can be called cults, I prefer to use destructive high control group as it better shows the group as destructive. There are many different models and ways to assess a group. You can look at the works of Robert J. Lifton or Margaret Singer. I'm going to focus more on the works of Stephen Hassan. Behavior control. There's a few things that you should look for. Dictating where you live and who you live with. Control what you wear and what you eat when you sleep. Try to exploit you financially and take your money. They may threaten physical harm. Information control. Deception and lying. Just making it up. Minimize outside information. You don't want that it outsider information because it's wrong. Doesn't matter, it's always wrong. Thought control. Everything the leader or the doctrine says is true. Maybe we'll, we'll change your name uh, and your personality is gonna change too. They're gonna make sure that you only allow proper thoughts. And those are the ones that agree with the group. Stop those thoughts. Sometimes even your own memories are manipulated. You don't even know what's real and what's not real anymore. Emotional control. Gonna manipulate your feelings and your emotions and make everything seem either life and death or not important at all. Teach emotion stopping techniques to make it so that you don't feel homesickness or thoughts of sadness of your old life. They also promote feelings of unworthiness and guilt. You are nothing without the group. 
They also like to instill fears. People from the outside. Spiritual forces that are coming to attack you. Losing your salvation or your eternal life and being burned in hell forever. Also want you to fear independent thinking because then you're not thinking about the group. Ritualistic and sometimes public confessions of sins, bad thoughts, bad behaviors. You should report them publicly. We're going to be taking calls from you. Call the number below and get in the line. I think it's a privilege to call yourself a Lorxian. When I first got into it, I heard all these things about all these powers and all the ways that you could conquer life. And at first I thought, <laughs> that's crazy. It wasn't. You know, I often reflect back to uh, when I was first joining the Lorxians. I had all these problems and all these things going on in my life. And uh, I look back now and so what are they? I, I don't even remember. You know, I used to party a little, have friends from this group and that group. Now I understand that those people were only holding me back. You know, I now think about a world where we don't have those people anymore. <laughs> used to have improper thoughts. The, help of the Lorxian method, the Lorxian counselors. I no longer have any of those negative thoughts, any questions I may have had in regards to the structure of the organization, gone, boom. <laughs> we don't take too kindly to that continued push of wrong ideas. Once you've had that knowledge, how dare you go against it? What we're currently taught is reality is so far from the truth. And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that we found the truth. The Lorxian method is just like, bah! it's like a whole new reality. Once you see what the world really is, it's, <laughs> you can't unsee it. Oh, oh, oh shit. You guys are still here? <laughs> Nobody purposefully joins a cult. These are people who are taken advantage of. A system that is strategically designed to ensnare, entrap, and keep people stuck. This doesn't just happen overnight. This is well planned, well organized, and follows a step-by-step -step process to ensure that you stay with the group. Step one, identify the potential recruit. This isn't young, crazy, out there people. These are people who are smart. These are people with skills. These are people with something that the group wants. Step two, persuade the recruit to step into your web. Very rarely does a group come out and say, hey, we're a destructive high control group and we look forward to taking your money, your friends, and possibly your life. They often have front groups. They often tell you they'll help you with your communication. They'll help you with your love life. They'll help you with your business. What is it that is ruining your life? We can fix that. Step three, love bombing. These motherfuckers are just going to come splat love, affection, all the things your dad never told you. The normal rat is like this. That's the normal rat. Like this, like this. Anything they can do to put you in an emotionally vulnerable position. You're going to feel peace and love like you've never felt in your entire miserable fucking life. Hey, you might even find somebody that uh, you might have some romantic feelings for. Step four, sell, 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 baby. Once you got the recruit there, you got to make sure that everybody that they're seeing is a happy ass motherfucker. Everybody's smiling, okay? Nobody's having a bad day. Nobody has had a bad day since they joined the group. You gotta let them know and make them feel like they're a part of a family. That this is worth more than anything they're gonna get anywhere else. Step five, tough love. That love that came earlier, it ain't free and it's not gonna fucking last forever. This is where shit's about to hit the fucking fan. Where you start to give up your independence. Give up your previous ways of life. You start to become more dependent on the group and less self-reliant. 
you're going to be doing a lot of tasks and a lot of work for the group. You're probably not getting a bunch of food or sleep either. But it's not all bad. There are some rewards if you do what you're supposed to do. But don't worry, there will also be punishments. Step six, renouncing loved ones. Now that you've taken on the face of the group, now that you've become dependent on the group, it's time to cut that other shit out. Nobody knows you or loves you like those in the group. Your old friends and family, they don't understand this information. They don't understand this group. Frankly, they don't even know you anymore. Do you really even know them? The group is your family now. No one's going to understand you and no one's going to care for you. Step seven, introduction of core beliefs. A signature calling card of a destructive high control group comes down to core beliefs and doctrine. Is it given all up at the front or do you need to spend years proving yourself to the group? Hundreds of hours of work, many sleepless nights. This is a systematic process that takes time. Nobody automatically believes Xenu, the galactic overlord, is throwing motherfuckers into volcanoes. No one overnight is believing that they are about to be lifted to the evolutionary level above human. And frankly, nobody just automatically assumes somebody was crucified and resurrected three days later. But we're not talking about that right now, are we? Are we? Step eight, zero tolerance of criticism. Anyone who questions the group, fights back against the group, or even starts to waver in their belief is dealt with ruthlessly. Every group's got their own name for the haters or the suppressives. It's a way to ensure that outside information is completely cut off and if not, is completely written off. Once again, these aren't stupid people. They are skilled people. They are intelligent people. They are people with questions. They are people who are emotionally vulnerable. These are people who are being systematically manipulated, indoctrinated, and used. Must have been Welcome, caller, to Cult Awareness Week Network. Call Hi. Hi. Congratulations Hi. on your first episode. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I really thought it's you made some good. great points about the bite model. Oh, and thank you. You're doing great work here. But actually, oh, you're just a clueless fucking tot, aren't you? Top, you think you know off, it all? Cut it off, Tom. You've got no fucking idea, top, you wanker. Cut it off, you're turn it off. You're just a scruffy-looking nonce in a sad brown top. suit. I hope End you it. fucking burn in hell, End you satanic it. demon troll. You're a fucking God. disgusting Pro shit eating worm. You should be ashamed Tom, to fucking cut it off. speak. Cut it off. Oh. Sorry about that. Uh, let's try to avoid the uh, harsh language while on the phone. Tom, can we put the put the tracer on the call, please? Trace that call, please. All right. Welcome, caller. You're on the air. So, dude. So, uh, hi. Uh, how, how are you? I, Do you have I a question? I wanted to ask you if, I, if you liked uh, okay. Wendy's. When he's, uh, yeah. Because uh, you're going to uh, love when this is... these nuts hit your face. Uh, uh, uh. Tom, Tom. <sighs> Tom. Is there a way to screen the calls before they come on? There's another one. Thank you for calling. Welcome to Cult Awareness Network. Hello? Hello. Hi, Hello. do you have a question? Hello, do you yeah. have a question? So, when I turn on the computer, the screen is like, blue. I, I'm sorry, ma'am. the screen is do, blue. Do you have a, a question about a cult? Uh, I, 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 I want to go on the Facebook. The Facebook, I... I, my, I'm sorry. My my daughter is on to... the Facebook. I'm sorry, ma'am. I think you have the wrong number. But the screen is blue. Hey, wrong number, ma'am. This is not a tech support line. There's another call. No. Okay. Actually, why don't you eat a whole bag of cocks? You Hang scruffy up. piece of shit Hang it up. in a fab brown suit. Hang it up. No f
it's good to search for meaning. It's good to try to self-improve. It's good to ask ourselves the big important questions. And it's great to try to find community and a group of people who can help support you in that. Having the tools to properly help you navigate these groups are important to ensuring that you are less vulnerable to falling victim. We are all humans. We're emotional beings. We aren't the facts and logic processing machines we pretend to be. We fall victim to behavior, information, thoughts, and emotional control tactics. We fall prey to undue influence and recruiting techniques. We are able to be indoctrinated into believing things that we never thought we were able to be indoctrinated into believing. And we're also able to carry out acts that we never thought we were capable of. Almost 40 people took their own lives as a part of Heaven's Gate. Over 900 people took their own lives or were murdered at Jonestown. A report from LA Times as recently as July of 2023 shows a cult group in Kenya whose pastor has ordered them to starve themselves to death has now reached over 400 deaths. Destructive high control groups cause real people to do real harm. People like you and people like me. People who were taken advantage of and people who were tricked. I think it's time we... Uh, Turn the lights off at the old bar here and wrap things up a bit. Let me just... How do you help if you know somebody who's a part of a destructive high control group? Well, first of all, prevention. Be aware. Be humble. Be considerate. You too could fall victim to a cult. And understanding that and showing that care and that compassion... And if you have a friend, a family member, somebody close to you who's going down that path, treat them as the human that they are. Understand that we are all vulnerable and treat them as you would want to be treated in that situation. Secondly, if that person has gone that next step and has joined the group and is getting deeper into the group, don't enable them, but be there for them. Care for them. Let them know that regardless, you will be there for them. Be the person that if they do decide to leave that group, that they can come to. Listen to them. Care for them. Understand them. You don't have to agree with them, but you should care for them. This can be super frustrating and you won't always be successful. But trying and showing that you care is the most important thing you can do. And lastly, if you or someone you know is in a destructive high control group, please know there are places that can help. There are professional services out there that can help with therapy, housing, food, community. I'll put some resources in the bio below, but please know there are places you can go and people who care about you and your situation. Please let me know how you feel about the video below. This is my first video really putting any work into anything. Let me know things that you want to see below. I do have more videos coming out deconstructing Heaven's Gate and other cults. Thank you to everybody who lent their voice, Globus and Wildcat. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Until next time.